Robots Radio presents... Previously on Mystery Down Under. Sun is busy beating down on the lonely coastal town of Warrawirrin. The town is enjoying a good lie-in on this public holiday. Dickie! Hi! I think you should go outside and get some sunlight. Be nice to your sister and enjoy. I'll be nice to my sister when she's nice to me. Don't I? What's going on? Can we do a tea party? Are you two going to be all right down the beach? I will be fine, Dad. Okay. I'll look after him. Gives you a ten-pound... Eric. His father's not going to work. He's going to have to sneak out of the house to get past his father. He starts running down the streets of Warrawirra, down to the beach. Welcome to the annual Warrawirra Surfing Championship of 1970. I think surfing is so cool. Yeah, I'm surfing today. <laughs> I'll chuck in as well, I reckon. Okay. Yeah, yeah as support for... I'm not going to let Eric go out there just on You reckon you could help me, Jack? Oh, so I can like decide who like the winner's going to be? And you're off! <laughs> Come on, mate. And now. So now we enter into <laughs> the actual competition. Okay. Um, I'm going to. <laughs> the first wave is coming up. Uh oh. It's is uh, it a big one. It's not a huge one, no. But it's definitely it, it, if if you were being careless, it could knock you off. Okay. okay. So I'm going to just set this at a four. But it is, it is, I would say it's a snap. You can't really plan for it. And what, <laughs> what skill is being used? Or what stat, rather? Um, I'm going to say either flight or brawn. If you can argue any other can I, skills, can I I'll suggest, allow it. Can I suggest grit? Because it's about like yeah. staying on the board. I was so going to say, if you, can, if you can argue a trait, I'll let you use uh, it. <laughs> yeah, this thought, is like the kids on bikes yeah, way. It's I very that, much. I thought grit would be the go-to um, rather than brawn. Brawn's like wideness, right? Whereas surfing would uh, be taking a hit. Tallness is taking. So oh, okay. you're taking the hit of the waves uh, as they okay. kind of go. But it, grit might be, you know, it's less about may, maybe sure you don't, you don't, get that initial ride but you hang on for dear life and maybe flight is you're just kind of quick enough on your board that you're kind of able to out go with it yeah exactly so we've got the first one coming up what did i say it's a four four, Are we yeah. a, four. do we have like penalties because we're not very good at surfing as we've said no no we can just do no, it I think ever did penalties. anyone yeah. the, the the first instance of this tournament was literally like Five people dicking around on a board yeah. uh, because it was like, oh my gosh, we can actually surf without fear of you know being caught in a rip or yeah. or being beaten against the rocks. And so people just started surfing, and then after time, it was kind of like a community thing of like just a little competition. Yeah, of it. it just kind of emerged without really much organization right, okay. at yeah. all. Um, which is why it's not really it's a proper surfing key. tournament. It's pretty low key. It's basically like a battle royale of like whoever stays on the longest. Who can, longest a- who can actually do a surfing? Yeah, I, okay. I suspect also it's early in the day, and a lot of the people right now are kids. I suspect some of the tourists that might come from like overseas or whatever here, like that was one of the things we chatted about. That it's kind of like an international, like it's a big thing. Yeah, I think maybe they have their own quote quote unquote competition, and by that they actually like just surf with each other. Yes, and like are like we're surfers. These people just grew up around the surf. Yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean. We're at the edge. Yes, yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> this is the where the try hardy competition locals. Which stats are you using for yours? Well, I'm a I'm a grit boy. You're a grit Gritty boy. boy. I'm a so grit you're boy. gonna roll roll yeah. grit for me. I'll take this first wave. A twelve. Oh, fantastic! What do I have to be, Ellen? Uh, a four. I'll, four. I'll use a nice, easy. I'll wave. use half of my grit. Uh, it's a snap. I can. Yeah. It's cool under oh, pressure. Oh, that's right. Cool. Yeah. You're cool under pressure. You see that wave coming, and it's as it's as if the kind of the roar of the waves kind of settles and it's it, it kind of envelopes you in this sense of calm where it's like when you hold a, a conch to your to your ear and really what you're hearing is your own blood kind of racing through your body. You feel at one with the water and you just kind of breathe out and you take that wave like it's no problem. Jono, how do you fare? Uh, so I've got a 12 on a grit, so it's just like... Oh, just here comes a wave. I, 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 I basically know how to do this. I've just got to stay strong in the legs, you know. Just, just keep them bent and 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 ride that wave. It's not the best technique, 
but I, I keep low on the board. Don't stand up very high and, yep. and ride the wave to shore. Yep. Uh, we have Marco, who is a, a resident of the town, who has he doesn't need a megaphone. He's just kind of like punched out the bottom of a of a um, beer. Ca- oh, he's going to cut a beer can in. <laughs> And he's kind of like calling through that. Like I said, it's very DIY community. And he's kind of, uh, he's commentating. Uh, we have uh, uh, Charlie is coming out strong. He is got, he's racing that wave. It's like he's made out of, uh, hang on. It's like he's made out of water. Yeah, because he's, uh, he's uh, Greek. Okay. It's like he's made out of water. <laughs> it's like, uh, where's the wave and where's Charlie? Oh no. And unfortunately, Elliot has fallen at the first wave probably why you shouldn't uh, be uh, taking the waves in uh, uh, full pants and uh, <laughs> and shirts but uh, it's the effort that we like and uh, someone if, if someone wants to swim in and grab Elliot and uh, bring him in that would be oh yeah thank you Dave and uh, we have uh, oh Jono surprising no one he stays on oh he's, oh, he's a bit shaky oh. he's a bit shaky but he's, he's carrying through and uh, oh Eric it's like, it's like he's just, he's just coasting through. No, I can't even see any effort. It's like, oh, he might be one to beat, ladies and gentlemen. And Leah Mueller, uh, oh, she's never done this before, but uh, you wouldn't believe it to look at her. And, uh, you know, uh, especially those legs. Am I right? And someone just kind of like chucks a beer can at him. <laughs> Don't Dunk. be gross, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> Dunk. <laughs> All right, that's fair. Right? That's fair. Right? You got me on that. Uh, and then we have our next wave, and it kind of breaks against the shore, <laughs> uh, and it's and it's it's much bigger. It's um, it's it's about as tall as all of you. Oh, Jeez. oh shit! It's a big one. Crikey. It's a big it one. So, uh, how did, sorry, how did Jason do? Yeah, that's what I was yeah. wondering. Oh, the sorry. rich boy. Oh, and Jason has not put out his cigarette. It's uh. <laughs> I don't think he's taking this very seriously, but uh, it's. Uh, I don't think maybe he needs to. He's, it, it, it took it all right. I think Dickie's just like watching Jason. He just goes, come on, shark. Come on, shark. Come on, shark. <laughs> um, <sighs> and Dickie, what are you doing to kind of keep track of? Are you just kind of, do you have like a little notebook that you're writing down? He, yeah, he will. I think, yeah, once he's been lathered up in the zinc and he's got his binoculars, he like realizes, oh, oh I should be keeping track. Right. Yeah. And, and he just kind of dump his bag down he quickly like puts the binoculars and down and he just yeah. quickly starts rummaging through his bands he's got like not even a notepad just loose pieces of crumpled paper yeah and just bring up one oh that one's got all my notes on it <laughs> get scribbles another one oh, that's like got scribbles on monsters and, and he like finds kaiju. one that has like <laughs> if he turns it to the side there's a little bit just on the right hand side that, it's, that hasn't been drawn on at all and he just quickly finds a pencil at the bottom and he just then has to he realizes he can't do everything now, so he has to yes. sit down, cross-legged, binoculars in one hand, page with his palm holding the page down in case the wind will whip it away, <laughs> and he's got the pencil there <laughs> on the sand, so yeah. he's got no purchase. Now, there are a few, uh, also, like, while the, while the main competition is who stays on their board longest, there is also one for kind of, like, flair or style. Yeah. Mm. So As that's said, mainly where you he's kind looking of for, in. He's looking for technique. Yeah. He's looking for style. And he's looking for speed. And is Dickie playing fit? For all we for know, most, yes. for, <laughs> most, for most people. But all Jason's right. already got a few negatives against his name. Oh. How, how old is Dickie again? He's, he's ten. 10. And so there's this 10-year-old bundled in this giant red outfit with this hat just sitting there like the thumb. With the zinc smeared like on his sm- face like, like he's one of the Mad Max war boys. The big thumb that's out there. <laughs> uh, and so we've got this next wave. It's coming in. It is like up. To your, it's past your eyes. How, how you can see it coming in. I'm gonna say it's an eight. Okay, that's not yeah, too bad. It's not too bad. Not too bad. All right. More grit for me. More grit. Eleven. Fantastic. Grit's your top stat, is it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm literally just, just. There's no style involved in my nah, surfing. Sure. P- it really is just pure force of will. Yeah. Just get on the front end of the board and just stand there. <laughs> It's like, so you just stand there. That's all you got to do. This is just all you stand. do. That's as far as I got. I'm going to do that well. Yeah. So you kind of curve with the. It's kind of like the. You just allow the wave to move you. Mm. You don't. You don't offer up any resistance, and so yeah. you're just kind of like coasting through it. Kind of like legs <laughs> just wobbling slightly. And yeah, a slight bend in the knees. Yeah. But you just think, hey, the wave's going to do what it's going to do. That's, that's, I just want to. I just don't want to wipe out. That's the thing. 
Like, I'm not trying for style. I just want to stay on the board and not be embarrassed. Yeah. Eric, how do you do? Uh, I'm also going to remain cool under pressure using my light, which is 20. Oh, so, fantastic. Uh, yeah, so I also realise that easy. I have to spend adversity points to do that. Ooh. So here we go. There they are. Done. Done. Forgot about that. Yeah, it yeah. does have a cost. It does have a cost. Keep Can't just keep doing it. Uh, but yeah, Eric is naturally good at things where he's by himself. Mm. Where he doesn't have to worry about yeah. other people. Where it's physical. Where he's alone with his own thoughts. Mm. He's happy. He does and a lot of so solo sports. And so this feels natural to him. Yeah. This is a, a it, it's the waves, the board, the wind, the Fantastic. sun. Maybe I am a game teacher. <laughs> This is, this is what's going through as as, as Jono calmly just standing <laughs> stock straight, straight up, <laughs> bending through this wave. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, Eric, Eric's, Eric's still up. Eric, Eric's doing well. All right, maybe we I have everyone good. still on their boards. Oh, no, Jason, he was a bit too preoccupied with his cigarette getting wet. And he tried to follow it into the water. We have our next wipeout. And you, you, got, you, you see there, just like if you're watching from the board, uh, Dickie literally lets go of the paper, goes, yes! <laughs> and then the paper starts to fly away, so he's to quickly scramble to grab it and goes, oh, um, I mean, uh, and just calmly scribbles out yeah. Jason with a bit of glee. Now we have our next wave. It's, it's Who's still up? Is that it? Was that the oh, only Leah, wipeout? No, uh, the only up. wipeout. So we've got Jason out. We've got Elliot out. Leah, Charlie, and you two are still in the game. Okay. Yeah. Can we be a high school, <laughs> high school, te- high school teach, a primary school teacher, and a pro- like basically professional surfer yeah. at this yes. point? Yes. <laughs> uh, so the next wave, it's it's even taller. Oh no! And, and it's 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 been you kind of have been seeing it come for a while off. As it builds in speed, it builds in velocity, it grows taller and taller and taller. I'd say it's about two metres. Oh, my God. That's the biggest wave I've seen. I'm looking oh at Charlie. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's just kind of like, he's not even really looking at it. He's just kind of like, his his knees are bent. He's kind of embracing it. He's, Starting it's to almost like his, It's it. almost like his eyes are closed. Um, oh, yes, as you're kind of, you're paddling up. It's like, it's like he's just feeling... The the um, the spit of the waves on his cheeks and he's just <sighs> breathing it in. What a great day to be out on the waves! <laughs> Mad Max there. What a lovely day. I'm gonna set this at twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Eric rolls thirteen. Oh! 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 oh my goodness! Now let me just using, see if using Leah... his flight. So hit speed again. Yeah, got you. You just race under the f- it. The first time he went out there, he had to use his grit. He had to be kind of tough. Now it's all about speed. Now he gets surfing. Yeah, I think oh. with, the, with like a big wave like that, you can you can use those long arms of yeah. yours to get keep pace with it as it comes up behind you. So you you know it doesn't blush, you know, wash over you and past yeah. you. You get a good head of speed so that when the wave comes up behind you. Oh no, up. we've lost Jono. That is a shame because we were expecting him to uh, rescue anyone else <laughs> in this competition. All right, anyone else who's still got their bathers on, get ready because uh, we might get some more wipeouts. Uh, Leah, oh, unfortunately, she's, she had it. She had it. Her, her footing was good, um, but just it, it wavered slightly and she just kind of started to go off balance, off balance, tilting, and then she just kind of drops into the water. So we've still got in play. Our last two of the competition, Charlie and, and Eric. Eric <laughs> got them here. Paddling out. He looks over to you. He's grinning. He kind of, as you paddle towards the next wave, he kind of does clap you on the back and he goes, let's do this, all right? Uh, Eric looks to him and goes, hey, yeah. I get it. Yeah. Beautiful day to be out here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. You ready for this? Yeah, let's you, do it. You will be. It's a very good hearted competition. Mm-hmm. All right. This next wave. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's a monster. Oh, no. It's a monster. It's five meters. Jesus. <laughs> oh, King the hell. Waves I've in, never seen a wave so big. Uh, the waves in Wara are in a pretty brutal, but oh. you do, that's why you don't go out that yeah. far usually. If I fail this, th- things bad things might happen. <laughs> I, I think, <laughs> what, I've been I think that's what Ellen... T- I've been hit by a two-meter wave before. It's and yeah. Yeah. It just yeah. kills you. Yeah. yeah. It's... I- I got dumped by a three meter yeah. personally. It nearly broke my back. Yeah. Oh, there would be no. like when a five meter wave comes to shore, like there would be like a hush. 
yeah. on the all the people watch. Everyone yeah. be like, oh, sh- oh shit. Yeah, yeah that's. Uh, I shouldn't be out there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but I shouldn't be but out you've there. gathered this momentum yeah. and you're feeling good and, and nothing has phased you thus far. Nope. So it's while it looks impossible, you've you've kind of got what you need to succeed. It's a thirteen. Okay. That's achievable. I'm I'm, I'm saying it's 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 lower because you, you have kind of kept succeeding oh, okay. up into so nothing has phased you or yeah. put you off your balance and it's kind of like Surfing is that thing. Once you get into the rhythm and the motion, still more likely that you'll fail than you'll succeed. That's true. That's true. Oh, oh! <laughs> we missed the whole bloody missed table. the whole thing by a long. What did long you? I rolled a four. <laughs> a four. And what was the difficulty? Thirteen. Thirteen. That's nine points of yeah. It's yeah. Nine. I'm gonna have to fucking pull him out of the water. <laughs> Another story so, for Jono. I'll take so, my adversity points now. So you see, exactly, grab your adversity tokens, you've earned them. So you stand up on the wave. Um, it's rocky and it's kind of, it's merciless. It's it's huge. But you kind of, you manage to scramble to your feet and you stand and kind of for a brief moment, you've conquered it. You've conquered the beast. Unfortunately, you get caught in Charlie's path. So you kind of, you kind of both... Smack into I, I'm guessing that I have the bad surf etiquette, so I probably drop in on him accidentally because I don't know you what do, I'm doing. You do, yeah, you do. And you kind of, you come off your wave, it, you're pummeled down. Oh! Oh, no! We've, oh, well, uh, I don't know what to, who's going to win in this competition. The kind of both came out, but uh, let's see if they resurface, more importantly. He's gone South African now. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, no, we joked about this before the podcast. Oh, jeez. He's, he's a citizen of the world. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he is. See? Um, and, and you kind of are, are pummeled under the waves. We'll run uh, to the shore yeah, to yeah. see if you're okay. But uh, you kind of... <clears throat> you come to the top. Um, Charlie's kind of got his arm around you. He kind of, you, you, as your head's kind of bob above the surface, like, you're right, mate. You're right. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was yeah. a bloody monster, uh, wasn't uh, it? And you did like it. Clapping. Yay. Yay. And, <sighs> and you both kind of begin to. Uh, oh, where's my board? Where's your board? You can't we look, look around, around for boards. Nah, it'll come in if it. He, go, he goes. It'll come in if it needs to come in. Come, come on, let's hmm. swim in. And so you swim well, in. deposit on that, actually. But, uh. um, <laughs> you cough out some salt water. <laughs> you feel a bit, you've definitely, you're bruised, you're battered, you're worse for weir. You've got weir. You've got Peter Weir, Australian director. <laughs> um, you're, you've got some scratches from kind of hitting um, a few rocks at the kind of the bottom as, as you were kind of brought down to the shore and then floated back up. Uh, you've got seaweed in your hair, but you're... You're here, you're whole, and Charlie's kind of wrapping his arm around you. You see how good he did? <sighs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Good one, Eric, man. That, Thanks. That might, wave must have been like eight metres tall or something. Now, we some have shit. a bit of, uh, we'll need to uh, discuss with our judges. So, um, as Fran, she kind of does, she, like, you're teens, but she's not quite sure where the line is, but she goes to, like, hand you your, your beers, oh, your yeah. celebratory beers. We're just like... You kind of yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. uh, a little uh, nod, little knowing Oh, nod. she goes. She kind of looks around in case, like your parents are about. She slaps it in a stubby. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Eric is rebellious, so yeah. he does take the beer. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course, um, we're teens. Yeah, yeah you're champions. And I've got the rebellious stat, so I we gotta, all do. Yeah, that's right. We yeah, got. Yeah. We got to do it. So Marco kind of comes up to you, Dicky. Now, uh, I, I don't know. So who's gonna get the Christ Cup? Well, because uh, so w- it was both. It was both uh, Eric and Charlie, but uh, yeah, they kind but of took each other out. What I'm thinking, though, is that if you actually uh, watch it back, which you can't because, you know, we didn't film it. <laughs> Rewind. But, but if you were to watch it, you'd, you'd see that actually, like, when they were coming together, it was actually Eric that, like, went in front of mm-hmm. Charlie. So even though, like, I don't think it was done deliberately, but, like, it's kind of Eric's fault that Charlie <laughs> went in the river and they shouldn't actually be touching each other. So I'd say that if Eric didn't go in the way... Charlie would have won anyway. Okay. So I think Charlie should win. So Charlie's win. the winner. Yeah. Do you have a uh, a winner for for style? 
Uh, for style, not Jason. Um, <laughs> okay. Do you know who did win it? Um, <laughs> That's I great. would give it to oh, you know, Mrs. Mrs. Miss Mueller because she was like smiling and laughing the whole time and made it true. seem like she didn't care, that but is true. also did care, and that's really cool. All right, well, Dicky, uh, thank you for doing this. Would you like to do the announcements? Uh, what what are the announce? Oh, you mean the winners? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'll, yeah, I'll call that. out and then you just say their names. Okay. 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 Oh, and also who <laughs> won? Yeah, like, Mark, Miss Mark. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gather around, everyone. Thank you all for coming. Uh, I love beers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What a, what a ripper day. Uh, so we have a few announcements, a few prizes to give out. Um, he kind of, uh, uh, Fran passes him like a little uh, uh, mesh hessian bag of, of, of all the stuff. He pulls out a bottle of um, like vegetable oil, Crisco oil. <laughs> okay, now first is the Crisco cup <laughs> for the person who can't stay on their board. <laughs> <laughs> this goes to Elliot Thompson. <laughs> Come on, step right up. And he's very like... He just kind of seems beaten. He seems beaten down by life Aww. most days, um, but he kind of he kind of takes the cup and he kind of sees everyone like grinning Yay. around him and like he just kind of goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good on you, mate. Thanks. Good on you, mate. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And he's uh, it's almost like Good he's effort, almost mate. like really emotional about this. Aww. Like just seeing like he he wasn't kind of, he was kind of like just kind of on autopilot. But as soon as he kind of looked up and. Saw everyone like smiling and laughing. It's kind of almost like teary eyed a little bit. And he kind of like just rushes off and like stands in the crowd. Fran gives him a beer. Yeah. <laughs> Quickly goes in the water so no one can tell the difference between tears and yeah. white water. <laughs> uh, okay. And now uh, we have the Christ Cup for the surfer who is almost nailed to their board. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Dicky, would you like to do the announcements? Uh, so that one's the winner, right? The one yes. that, yeah, so the one who stayed on the longest. Yeah, so that one, that one's Charlie because it was Eric's fault that Charlie didn't stay on the board. Okay, so we Charlie. don't need the semantics. <laughs> uh, and and so it's kind of like <laughs> it's very sacrilegious, but someone it's like a um, a, 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 a statue of Christ <laughs> that someone has is surfing glued to a a, a surfboard. A surfboard. <laughs> Great. I love it. I love and they it. present it to Charlie. He's, he's very... To add to his collection. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, I don't... Uh, he's, he's Greek too now. I don't, <laughs> I don't do this for the, uh, the prizes, but uh, thanks, everyone. So, uh, he's going to look real good in my... I reckon my... he's practically a fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit cheating, isn't it? Yeah. Well, uh, Surfing save fish. up some room on the Barbie for me later. <laughs> I'll just <laughs> lie down and sizzle. Uh, <laughs> and now we have the prize to the most stylish. The uh, the 70s prize for the most flares. Fran thought up, up that one. I, I don't really get it. Oh, pants. Oh, okay. Yeah, pants. Because the pants are flares. I'll get it. I get it. So, okay. Yeah, nice. And Dicky, have you chosen the surfer? Yeah. So, like, it's not, and I, I looked up this word today, it's not uh, nepotism or, or, you know, like, um, because she's my teacher. So, I just thought I'd say up front that she's my teacher. But the winner is Mrs. Miss, Miss, Miss Mueller. But, again, it's because she actually was, like, really good and not because uh, she's my teacher and I like her. Also, Jason didn't win. Uh, thank you, Dicky. Uh, <laughs> uh, Leah stands forward. Um, they bring out, sorry, they bring out the prize, which, uh, which is, it's kind of like, um, it's, it's bather suit material, but it is like a pair of jeans, like flared jeans. So it's like a fr- long wetsuit yeah, that, that isn't a proper wetsuit. <laughs> that like, it, it meant, it's meant to look dorky. Yeah. Um, and, and Leah takes it on and she's like, oh, I think you made this maybe for a man to wear. <laughs> it's a bit big for me. Uh, but thank you. Thank you so much. It's my first time I've done this. I didn't even know how, which end of support to stand on. Uh, but thank you, Dicky. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Miss Miola. You won't get any uh, uh, special uh, prizes in school, though, for that. I'm just telling you, this is impartial. Huh. <laughs> as long as you know. Uh, fantastic. And, and you kind of lap up all the praise, the salt in your hair, as the kind the beer. of. The beer. The beer. You're feeling a bit 
just a bit goes heady. to your head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we haven't had breakfast. Yeah. So. sand in your toes. Well, yeah. we had ice cream. We had ice yeah. so, so sugar and beer. Sugar and yeah. beer. beer on on Australia. Uh, you on know, Australia Day yeah. in the sun. In the sun, yeah. surfing. Yeah. And Fran kind of, uh, you know, she gives you gives you some complimentary drinks. She goes, "All right, well, until uh, you come into the opening tonight, right? The opening." Uh, uh, Come what? on. The well, school's now closed today. <laughs> Echo Cave. It's the first time it's going to be open to the public. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I, I knew Eric. You probably don't have... You you wouldn't have much thought about, you know, anything that's not running or athletics. But, uh, Dickie, surely you're excited to get in there and see... Oh, who knows what could be there? Crystals or... What was Hidden it? gold. Why is it called Echo Cave? Oh, you are, you really want to know? Yeah. 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 So, it's a, what I've heard from Deanne, who's exploring it at the moment, is that uh, it always seems like you're hearing someone as you walk through the cave. Uh, it's huge. It's cavernous. And so, there's, like a, there's yourself, a great like echo. An e- oh, well, that yeah. makes sense. Right? But... All right. Stupid question, eh? But one of the other echoes. <laughs> one of the other scientists said that they said hello, and they heard, "How's you going back?" No way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Mark, what Mark, I heard. Yeah. Look, I'm just, I just own the pub, so I get Mark all sorts of that, stories. Mark told me that one as well, and that's yeah, it's 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 true. Is that why all the scientists think it's? Of special interest because it's like a talking Maybe, cave. maybe. Look, I can't tell you. But you're going, right? Is it dangerous? <laughs> Would that stop you? No, not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, yeah. Well, if if, uh, if my dad can watch Izzy, I'll come. What time is it? Yeah, it should open around oh, 5 p.m. Yeah, right. I think we'll be there. Yeah, yeah we'll be there. Yeah. yeah, all right. Yeah, for sure. All right, I'll That'd see be cool. you there. have been in a cave before. <gasps> no yeah, one has. I don't think I have either. You know, there's these, like, really cool... They're not, like, caves, but they're tunnels. You know St. James tunnels? They were, like, before the war, like, before World War Two. they were, like, going to make this, like, subway tunnels that went from the city all the way to Bondi Beach. But, like, they stopped well, doing like it. In the, like over in Sydney? Yeah, yeah, but, but they, they, they stopped making it halfway through. And the reason that they stopped and they just left it was because, actually, apparently, there were these, like, creatures that were, like, making their way using those tunnels. So that's why everyone reckons that they stopped it. So, like, maybe in and a case in the we can find stuff, too. And in the middle of Dickie's too. explanation, <laughs> Eric. Yes. Where's Jessica? <laughs> oh. uh, Jessica kind of comes up to you and she's like, oh, my gosh, that's really impressive. I saw you out there. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. Yeah. pretty cool. Th- th- I mean, you yeah. lasted longer than Jason. Yeah. Not that that's saying much <laughs> from what I've heard. <laughs> what? Uh, no, no, it's just uh, I'm just being stupid, Eric. No, I don't think you're being. Sh- I don't think you're stupid. Thank you. I don't think so either. No. But it's not what I hear all the time. No. Anyway, you'll... you did really great out there. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. His hand goes to the back of his neck. Yeah. As he awkwardly stands there. She's gonna kiss you on the cheek. Uh, he. Can I roll? Flight. <laughs> Can I roll charm? <laughs> yes. To see if he misinterprets what yeah, she's doing. Absolutely. Aww. Go for it. And so, the fact, like, what's... What? I'm going to, look... It, it. Because if he fails it, he tries to kiss her. Oh, okay. Right, like, that's what he... Yeah. A celebration yeah. right. kiss. She's like, he's he like, turns oh, I'm, lips to go I'm to getting a kiss. Yeah. And if he succeeds, he's like, oh, I get it. She's going to kiss me on the cheek. I'm going to say it's a five. It's kind of like five, like three to six is like a task where success is likely for all characters except those who aren't skilled in that field. I don't, ex- I don't think that you've been kissed too many times. So. No. Let's say five. Uh, well, his charm is six, so if I roll, I might have to spend oh. some adversity. <laughs> uh, five. Hey, oh, just. Oh, my goodness. Is it like a moment? Is that like a, a moment where you yeah. almost do? No. His eyes yeah. like go. So Eric stands there as she like goes to kiss him on the cheek. His eyes go wide for a second. He goes, oh, and then turns <laughs> and kisses her on the cheek as well. Yes. <laughs> she goes, Eric, you're so cute. <laughs> yeah. So are you, are you yeah. <laughs> And you spend, um. and you spend the next few, few moments, kind of soaking up the sun, joking about your successes, about how long you lasted in the waves, Jono. You're kind of shaking all the, <laughs> the seaweed and grit from your hair. Izzy's kind of 
I'm never going to let you forget how you kind of wiped out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but you're all enjoying. You grab some. You grab some sausages mm. after you spent a kind of appetite working up in the surf. Um, Dicky, everyone's kind of giving you a lot of praise as well. The little judge, <laughs> yeah. Friends, kind of are offering you uh, uh, the next, the next uh, job as the judge, as the I think, next year's I think championship. Also, for the first time, like this is the first instance where Dicky almost like feels not admiration, but like just the smallest bit of kinship for Jessica because he heard that barb on Jason. Mm. And he's like, oh, oh, she hates Jason too. Yeah. Oh, it's great. Yeah. I'll be, and I get to tell her a story later. Awesome. And she kind of, she's swept up in the in the good feelings of this as well. And she's also a bit buzzed. Um, <laughs> and she she looks at your your jacket, Dicky, and she just kind of is reminded how little you are because this yeah. jacket, friend's jacket vest rather goes up to your knees. <laughs> it's like a little tunic or dress, and she just goes, "You did a really good job, Dicky. Thanks. <laughs> you got a little job." Yeah, well, I, and I've I've also got. Oh, that reminds me. You know the the uh, the, the 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 pocket money. Um, I know what I want to spend it on already because there were these binoculars that I got to use today, and friends said that I could buy them. So I'm thinking <laughs> of using the money from your pocket money to buy the binoculars. Sure. All right. Why don't you tell? You know that story you wanted to tell me. Yeah. You can do that now, and you spend the rest of the day kind of like. Having fun at the beach. This is your day. Until Bit of a swim, talking to our peers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Until the time rolls around to get down to Echo Cave. So Jack the Ripper. <laughs> <laughs> Roll to cast. Mystery Down Under is a Baby Beard Media production. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Discord. And all our podcasts are on Spreaker, Spotify, YouTube and all good podcatchers. You can support us on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash babybeard. Kids on bikes and all associated properties are trademark of Renegade Game Studios. Used with permission. to a Robots Radio podcast. Smart shows for interesting people. Check out all the shows at robotsradio.net. Looking for a Fallout audio drama? It's True Vault Escapades. That's right, follow the death-defying adventures of Detective Walter Camry and his vault girl Bunny as they solve the wasteland's biggest mysteries. From the dramatic Texas prologue to the high-stakes world of New Vegas, Walter and Bunny risk it all to crack everything from murders, slaver syndicates, and corruption at the highest level in post-nuclear America. True Vault Escapades. It's a Fallout show with a detective twist. Look for True Vault Escapades wherever you get your podcasts.